Great evening, everybody. Lakeisha McKnight is here. Welcome back to the Revitalize the Total Woman podcast. Yo, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's 8 o'clock p.m. here on this lovely Tuesday, November 14th, 2017. I tell you, 2017. Where is the month going? It's already the 14th. Depending on where you are in the world, it could already be the 15th, all right, because of time conversions, but it's okay, right? We're still on the earth. We're still able to connect by way of technology. And we want to say thank you on behalf of the company, of the podcast leaders. We thank you so much for being connected to the Revitalize the Total Woman podcast. Remember, this is a podcast that's a media outlet for the nonprofit that's based in Chesapeake, Virginia. Virginia here in the United States of America. And the name of the nonprofit is Women of Elevation Career Services International. We are both a personal and professional development company for women. We're helping you to really walk in your desired career and of course have the lifestyle you dreamed of. Ultimately, with the organization, we empower women like yourself with the tools to be able to create, relate, and elevate. And those are our three core areas of this organization. So before I dive into even more specifics about what we do as far as topics we cover on the podcast and really delve into our episode for tonight, I am going to go ahead and share on social media. I'm going to share in two places. Number one, on my profile wall. And number two, I'm going to share in the community group for the nonprofit, which is Women of Elevation. So if you happen to be on Facebook, We want you to go ahead and request to join the nonprofits uh, group there. It's called Women of Elevation. Or you can just go to facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Women of Elevation. And that's how you can find us. So let me go ahead and share on my timeline. And you can go ahead and do the same. Share on your timeline for other women to connect, to join in, and to be elevated. So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and type in join me now as I am live am live discussing okay okay discussing purpose with women okay here we go probably gonna say purpose discovery all right here we go Okay, so I did that, and I'm now going to share in the community group for Women of Elevation. So let me go there. And I might also share on the fan page for the podcast. Uh, sometimes it's good to just touch bases there because if you're not, if we're not there visiting often, then it can really impact us greatly. So let's go ahead and do that as well. So I'm going to do that after I'm sharing in the group. Okay, so let's go to the fan page for the podcast. All right, so here we are. Okay, so we're sharing there. Okay, awesome. So we shared in just a quite just a few places on Facebook because Facebook is the platform that we leverage the most. Now, uh, we know that the nonprofit is connected in other areas, but we leverage Facebook the most with this nonprofit organization. So if, if you're not connected in any way to us on Facebook, we invite you to go ahead and do so. So let me tell you, for the month of November, we're helping you to understand more about purpose and how, re- how purpose really helps women to prepare for elevation, All right? So that's what we're doing in the month of November. And we're still going to focus on elevation in December, but just a different angle of it. Because the last four months of this year is focused upon helping you prepare for elevation. Uh, the prior four months, right, we focused in specifically on helping you to build personal and professional relationships. And then the first four months of the year, we help you in the area of creation, laying the foundation for a solid career uh, and a solid business, depending on which path you want to take. Um, so that's what we do here, a part of this particular podcast and throughout the year with the entire organization. So here we go. 
on tonight, we have a more specific topic that we do cover. And that topic is um, just really understanding the signs that let you know that you're walking in your purpose. Because if you know that you're walking in your purpose, then it makes it easier to prepare for you to prepare for elevation. Because you can't elevate if you don't know what you need to be elevating in, right? So what are some clear signs that you are walking in your purpose. Number one, the biggest sign that I found for myself as a woman, as a career woman, is that I had this this really supernatural feeling of peace. Like there was this peace that no one in the world can take away. So that when I'm walking and I'm doing something impactful and I'm impacting the lives of other people, but more specifically women, I notice that there's a peace. I, I enjoy doing it, right? Even though there may be some bumps in the road because the path and the road will not be easy always. There's always this sense of peace that I feel and I'm quite sure some other people feel when they're doing something they love. Number two, okay, you know that you're walking your purpose when obstacles do arise. <laughs> it's not going to be easy. There's going to try to be a hurdle. For those of you who are spiritually minded, you know that the enemy does not like when you're walking in peace, complete peace. So when you know that there's struggle and you have not given in and thrown in a towel, you know that you're walking in your purpose. And so don't run away from struggle it's a sign that you're doing what you should be doing. It's a sign that you're trying to be hindered from doing what you're supposed to be doing. Now, if it if you don't have the resources to do what you're supposed to be doing, right, then that means that either it's not the season for you to do it or it's not what you're supposed to do, okay? So don't struggle for too long, but understand that God will provide. He will allow you to have the resources you need so that you can walk in his will for your life. So not only will you have peace, not only will, you know, problems arise and obstacles arise, but number three, no one has to force you to do it. That's when you know you're walking in purpose. You're just doing it. You're getting up in the beginning of, you could be the beginning of your day. You can be dead tired. Okay. Not dead tired, literally, but you can be really, really tired, but yet you're still going to do a certain thing because you enjoy it. Even though your eyes want to close, you enjoy it so very much. So those are just three signs right there. I have so many I'm going to share with you. I probably end up sharing with you some more about these signs on tomorrow. But those are just three signs you're walking in your purpose. And when you're doing this, okay, you know that you're, you're ready because you know what you're supposed to be doing. So when you know and you can clearly identify and say, hey, this is what I'm supposed to be doing, you can prepare. Like, I know I was born and I'm supposed to be speaking, right? Supposed to be speaking on stages around the world. I know it. And so when I do it, it's like natural. It's like energy. It's like life to me when I'm on stage. So that's when I know that that's what I'm supposed to be doing. That's it. So you have to discover that thing for you. And think about these three things. And and think about this in your situation. Do you have peace doing what you're doing? Right. Has has it been a smooth road without obstacles? And then number three, can you just do it without people forcing you to do it? You just get up and do it no matter what the situation is. Think about these three questions for yourself. And we're going to come back here tomorrow night with, of course, yet another episode here with the Revitalize the Total Woman podcast. Remember, you can always go back and look at our website, review the website to learn more about what we have going on. Our website address is www.womenofelevation.com. I'm your host, Lakeisha McKnight. Well, until then, have a great evening, great afternoon, great morning, no matter where you are in the world. Take care and God bless.